conversations with our with our friends and family and, and just the people in your everyday life. You need to talk about it. You need to, you need to get past that glossy eyed look. They start staring at you. We all know it. <laughs> um, but you have to just say, hey, you know, really, this is important. Um, connect it to the health. Make whatever whatever examples you can. Um, just don't stop. Don't stop trying. Well, thanks, guys. That was great answers. And, and, and Gail, that's, that really touches on the next question. Um, and, and so does Mark's illustration of the throwing the bread for the pigs. Because um, what I find is that when I start talking to some people about food and, and the, the health issue or just food and the, the, what's happening to our farmers, and I suggest to somebody, maybe very gently, that, that they should re-examine their priorities and maybe put more of their budget into food or more of their time into procuring food from a local source. They kind of look at me and they're like, this shouldn't be about sacrifice. <laughs> and, and to me, like I, I feel like I'm suggesting something just the opposite. I feel like I'm suggesting an opportunity. Like what, what is more fun in this world than, and, and I think everybody in this room can relate to this, than going out to your farmer's farm or going out and playing with the, the cows and the pigs and the chickens even if they are going to be dinner in a few weeks. But seriously, like, how, how is it that, that each of you see that we can, as, as activists and as farmers and as leaders of organizations and, and everybody in the audience here who's obviously passionate about this, how is it that we can address this to other people as the incredible opportunity that it is? Can we approach it as a, as a, uh, as a foodie perspective? 